chat what's up youtube what's up man if you're listening to this on soundcloud what is up to y'all 10 dudes man i swear to god you soundcloud guys y'all different i appreciate y'all man i appreciate all y'all coming through the chat this is probably the biggest week of madden that we have and chat this one i'm gonna ask you are you guys ready for this week in mad because i'm ready for this week in mad i'm ready it's been a long time i'm out here with this t I've, I've been playing madden all day all night I try to get little breaks here and there, but as I've been playing the hell out of Madden, getting better, getting a lot better in the last two uh, two days, man. So excited about clubs, man. If you're listening on YouTube, please hit the like button. This is the year anniversary. This is 52. 52 weeks we have done the Needed Podcast. No breaks, no nothing. Every Tuesday for a year straight, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, my man, Ma with the sub, I appreciate it. Thank you. A year straight, man. In the off season, in the slow season, in the regular season, in the postseason, we have done the need a podcast to talk about man. And it's crazy that you guys have been in here supporting it, been watching on YouTube and listening to it on SoundCloud. If you do that, man, all them links are below. If you're on YouTube, man, and you don't watch this live on Tuesdays, that link is below twitch.tv slash dub dot. It is club. It is club week. Club week is I, I believe it's over five hundred people in the tournament. Which is nuts. And I hope some of my viewers here in the chat or on YouTube, you guys are in the tournament. And let me know, chat, if you're in here now, is there anybody that's in the Club Series tournament and is ready to play some games this week? Let me know if you're in the tournament and you guys are playing. Because I am in the Club Series. Um, I am in the Eagles Club Series. Shout out to Eric Wayweather in the chat with the sub. I appreciate it, man. Let me know if you guys are playing, man. Because I know you. everybody's preparing. Everybody's getting ready everybody's uh these are the, some of the some guys are going to play the biggest games of their lives you know and it's a little bit different than playing mutt head to head seasons it's a little bit different than playing the leaderboards it's a little bit different than playing your friend at home and um honestly to you guys um i would say if someone asked me i'm probably about at 80 overall in madden right now don't feel the best don't feel the greatest but i'm smart enough and, and i'll tell you when the bright lights come on Things get different. Little Johnny doesn't like the bright lights. He doesn't like the bright lights. You know what I'm saying? So to me, this is when I thrive. You know what I'm saying? And my whole goal in the last couple days, in the last week, make sure I'm just playing solid, playing good, playing ready to go. But we're going to talk more about this, man. And we're going to talk about all the clubs that are coming up in a while. But the other big news, chat, the other big news is that EA dropped the patch this week. Now, I will we'll talk about that. But the first thing they put out is a new ability. They put out a bunch of new abilities. Um, most of them stopped in the run. And, chat. you guys can help me out. Did you try the run chems? Did you try any of these things to stop the run? And I'll be honest, I tried Aaron Donald, um, the 3 million coin card. He is now gone off of my team. Not because he wasn't good, but more because he wasn't worth 3 million coins. I don't think anybody in this game is worth 3 million coins. Maybe Michael Vick, maybe Randy Moss. But um, to me, uh, I didn't really like any of the run chems. Or the one that I used was inside zone stuffer and run stuffer with Aaron Donald. Didn't really notice it all the way. Um, didn't notice anything crazy with it so i don't know if you guys liked any of the run chems that they put in the game to stop the run maybe discourage people from running the ball a little bit more but the main thing they put in the game and if you guys have been around you definitely have heard of this chem that they put in the game that it is called mossed now chat have you guys been mossed or used moss that's what i'll ask you have you been mossed or used moss now i'll tell you there's a lot of chems and a lot of abilities that are pretty damn stupid. Not stupid, but pretty damn wild, right? But I'll tell you this, chat. Double me was pretty damn cool. Right, chat? Double me was pretty cool. It was pretty balanced. If you had it, it was awesome. Because if you saw you had one-on-one, -on -one, that was a catch. Defensively, if I saw, damn, I gave up double me. It was the easiest counter in the world. Just put two people on that guy. It sucked. It made your defense weak because now you got to put two people on one receiver, which, I mean, is football. When you have Julio Jones, when you have DeAndre Hopkins, you know, you put, sometimes you got to double cover those guys because they're that good. That's why the chem is called double me. But it had a great counter. 
It was an easy counter. Just double him. He can't catch it. You leave him one on one. Yeah, he he was going to moss you. That's simple as that. And that made sense because one, it wasn't overpowered. Two, it was easy to stop. Three, it was pretty cool if you're on offense. It gave you a huge advantage, knowing that it's when you snap the ball, it's boom. If he's not doubled, I'm throwing the ball up. That's it. And then other than that, it hurts the defense, makes offense easy, right? So I feel like this. Double me was cool. But these guys at EA said, you know what? We're not cooking with enough gas. We're going to take double me and just, just put some steroids in it and make it so this player catches the ball no matter what. No matter what. 11 people, 13 people, three people in the coach, the mascot, the popcorn vendor. Everybody in the stadium can be on this receiver and he will catch the ball. It was to the point with some of the clips I saw chat where you couldn't see the receiver and it would just say touchdown. Literally, there were that many people on the receiver that you couldn't see him, but he still caught a touchdown. Now picture that. Literally, could not see the receiver, somehow still catches a touchdown. Now, What's crazy to me is this ability came out and, and, and Madden guys tested it within a half hour. Because it's not hard to go. Let's go see what this is about. Get in there with your buddy, throw the ball to him, get a couple 20-yard catches, bang. Now all of a sudden I'm blinking. Let's see what he got. You know what I'm saying? That's what you say. Let's see what he got. So within the first 10 minutes, somebody tested, wow, he really catches this on 11 people. So to me, the people at EA, they have Xboxes, right? I hope they have Xboxes. So they could have plugged their, they did plug their Xboxes up. Right? They plugged the Xboxes up, and they played each other. They do the ball up. They said, damn, I'm catching the ball on everybody. So then they went to the boss and said, yo, I don't know. Look at this. They catch the ball on everybody. And the boss said, yes, put that shit in the game. Literally said, put that shit in the game. It doesn't matter if you play the game, if you watch the game. That doesn't matter. It doesn't take much to put 11 people on one person and throw him the ball. That's what they did. And they said, we want this in the game. So to me, that it, it, it's unfathomable that that really happened. Like, seriously, like, and, and, and when it goes to that, what is their goal when making a game? Seriously, what is the, and, and I said a comment like this, that superstar knockout is the, is the future of Madden, you know? So to me, yeah, it's rough. It definitely was pretty rough. I don't know if it's fireable. I don't know if that's the right call. Dan, I, I mean, I just feel like that's what they want as a group, not necessarily the people you know in EA, not even necessarily Clint. You know, because I don't think, I, I know Clint personally, like I spent a lot of time with Clint, a lot of conversations, and I don't think this is something that he wants, but ultimately he has a boss. You have a boss. You know, Santa Claus has a boss. You know, it's it's everybody has a boss, so there's always somebody they have to answer to. You know, so for me, shout out to my man Fucks for 300 with the sub, man. Two month streak, I appreciate you. But everybody has a boss, right? No, I, and, and and they been, the, the thing they did, it's just like, it wouldn't take long. What did they think was going to be the outcome? Is there anybody that says, oh, let me play Madden now because I can catch the Moss ability? You know, let me get off of Fortnite. Let me get off of Call of Duty. Let me get off of 2K. I want to play Madden now because I have the Moss ability. If anything, I feel like that lost people. Like, it's people like, damn, I just got Moss. Let me go hop on Fortnite. Let me stop playing Madden and go play something else. So, for me, I, I really think that it was nuts, honestly. Yeah. I, it would be dope if Moss... I, I think Moss... I don't think they should have got rid of it. And, and, and I could really see some people using it. I, I think it definitely is le a lethal thing, really, honestly. But everybody has a ball. So I don't think this is like Clint's idea. You know, I don't know whose idea was to catch the ball on that many people. But it just it just goes to what is the... I think it just shows what a disconnect EA has 
from us, the big consumers, from us, the ones that play the game all day, from us, the ones that continually play the game no matter what, and for us, the ones that try to give them feedback on what we want, you know? Um, so, definitely rough. But that's how I feel about Moss. It's not really about the ability, stupid. It's pretty much just shows you who's making the, the decisions, who's in, not in, who's in charge, and what their idea of good man is. What their idea to try to get Madden more popular is, you know? Because ultimately, listen, it's a business, so they want people playing the game. So to me, it's like, ultimately, they when they choose to put stuff in this, that's their goal, that's their thought that will make people play the game more. Now, they came out with this new Superstar Knockout mode, which I'll be honest with you guys, chat, and I don't know how you feel. It's pretty cool. Not terrible. I've had fun playing Superstar Knockout. I've had fun playing Superstar Knockout with a bunch of different people. Now, you guys can comment if you like it or not. Easy way to make that mode more popular. It's an easy way to give people more rewards. I will tell you, it's 200 people in the chat. 180 would play Superstar Knockout if they gave us even the same rewards that they give house rules. Doesn't have to be crazy. Give me a nat 90. Give me a nat this guy. Or give me, you know, 10,000 training for playing 20 games a knockout. Or something like that, chat. Am I wrong when I say, how could they drop the ball on making that mode more popular just by giving people better rewards? Because they put the mode in the game. Obviously, they think this mode is going to pop. It's going to be fun. They put these celebrities in the game. And it's pretty fun. I have no problem with the mode. It's a relaxing break from stressful high, you know, high level men and trying to play every game serious. It's definitely a break. Now, so if they say this is going to be fun, get us all playing the mode. You know, I think as far as them putting Moss, how could you think putting Moss in the game would help us play the game and, and be more excited to play the game? Rather just give us give us better rewards to play the new game mode that y'all worked hard, spent a lot of money. You know, DJ Khaled not in the game for free. Snoop Dogg's not in the game for free. You know, so they spent a lot of money. They built this new game mode, a lot of creativity into this game mode. Get us all playing it. That's such a better angle to make the game more popular than putting Mossed into the game. You know, the Mossed is nuts, and I'll be surprised if it makes it to the next patch. But we talk about the patches, and the patch was this week. And I want to ask you guys, what did you notice about the patch? Now, the number one thing, the RB button is kind of dead. Now, I'll be real. The RB button was stupid. Holding RB and running at full speed and juking and jive, that was stupid. Anybody thinking otherwise is lying. And, I, I, like, for a, running, for a human being to run fast without using his arms is nuts. It's like when you, hey, my man Don, thank you. When you run, your arm movement keeps you balanced. Like that ass, go out there and try to run like this. You gonna get, you know what I'm saying? You gonna, you might fall over. You damn sure ain't gonna run that fast. You know, and for me, when you're trying, the whole notion of holding RB, right, is to um, protect the ball. That's your number one concern, protect the ball. Your concern isn't making somebody miss. Your concern isn't running fast. It's protecting the ball. And if you're going to run and protect the ball and not risk a fumble, yeah, you should be a little slower. I think that's completely a good thing, man. You know, I, and I would love to see the next man event, have everybody go outside and run like this and see what happens. You know, I think it'd be a great entertaining piece that they can put together. You know what I'm saying? I think that'd be dope. No, I don't, I, I don't think it should be fast. There's so many things you can do to not fumble it. I mean... Our, holding our being running that fast shouldn't be one of them. Yeah, I think. Hey, listen, all thirty-two. Listen, all thirty-two club series winners. We should line them up on a football field. You know, myself and some others included might have a hard time running that hundred yards. You know what I'm saying, but we're gonna try and hold, just hold like this and run like this. You know what I'm saying, and see what happens. But um, decadent with the sub. Thank you, man. Three month streak. I appreciate. If you guys are listening to this, man, you can watch these live, twitch.tv slash dub that. That link is below in the chat. But um, that the RB thing, so what the RB thing did, ultimately, it pretty much, it pretty much took, it pretty much, whatchamacallit, it took away Heavy Panther. Because what Heavy Panther was, snap, hold RB and run. 
So that offense, probably the bummiest offense. I don't even want to compare Heavy Panther to any type of stretch or any type of dive or any type of run. It's not even close. It's not even comparable um, Heavy Panther to other type of runs and everything like that. Um, so I think getting rid of Heavy Panther is always a good thing. I mean, and I saw a lot of people comment. Most people... Most people that were Heavy Panthers, well, shout out to my man King, Heavy Panther expert. King was so distraught on the patch that he cut off his dreads. Now, listen, I'm not a dread expert, but I am a hair expert, even though I don't have any hair. You guys have been here when I've talked about hair, and I'll be honest, I have some pretty goddamn good opinions, right? Now, my man King, that's what I know about dreads. Dreads take a long-ass time to grow and some damn commitment. Now, I'll tell you what, King didn't have crazy dreads. They were kind of just right here. Right, chat? They, not even. They might have been right here. So that means he had halfway commitment. Because really, when you say, I'm going to get dreads, you want to have dreads. Like, you want to have a ponytail full of them. Right, chat? Now, I've never had dreads myself, you know. But you want to have, a, you don't want to just have little shit dreads. You want to have dreads. So when King went to go get dreads, right, chat? Now, look. He said, you know what? I'm I'm the underrated king. I'm gonna have dreads eventually. When I'm when I get old enough, I'm gonna have some long ass dreads. That was his goal. Right? That's the goal when you say I'm gonna get dreads. And you go committed. I'm not gonna cut my hair. I'm just gonna grow. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's gonna be. It's just gonna grow. Listen, y'all can Donnie, I will show pictures of me in high school for sure. All I had was a buzz cut. That's it. I had a buzz cut until my hair started getting thin. And my sister was like, yo, you got to start getting different hairstyles or your hair is going to look super thin. And you're only going to have four or five years with hairstyles. Might as well get some new hairstyles. This is what I'm trying to tell the kids in the Madden community that while you have all this hair, you little 16 to 21 year olds with all this damn hair, make this shit look good. Because one day you can wake up and you can look like me and then you have no option. I have one option. My one option is let it grow like problem a little bit or just shave it every day. You know I'm saying now me myself, I feel like it needs to be, you know, take care of it. Every once in a while. problem the other way around. He lets the shit grow for a month, then shaves it off. You know what I'm saying, but let's go back to dreads, right? So the underrated king committed to the dreads. I'm getting dreads. This is a long haul chat. The dreads might be a three to five, six, seven year experience. They patched, they patched. Heavy Panther so bad that the underrated king said, I'm done. He had enough. He cut them jaws off. He gave up the commitment. Like he was that lost with the Heavy Panther getting patched that he gave it all up and just zoom, 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 and posted them jaws. Now he's Samson. That's who he is now. He's Samson. Lost Heavy Panther, lost his dreads. He is Samson without his hair. That is the underrated king right now. And I can't wait to watch him play clubs to see what the hell he's out there doing. But anyway, that was the main thing with the patch was the uh the patch and RB um and the run the new run stopping abilities. I don't know if you guys use them. For me, it's tough to use the run stopping abilities. Uh, I think I'd rather use um Abilities that affect every part of your defense. So I talk about run stopping abilities. Yeah, that's going to stop the run. But what if they pass 80% of the time? Where if you get an enforcer, a secure tackler, those things work on every play. You know, it's not just one way or the other. So I think, so I think for me, if I was picking my three abilities, which by the way, chat, I think it's time we go to five abilities on each side of the ball. That's how I feel. Five abilities. Because it's to the point with the game that if you don't have ability, you can't do anything. You can't juke without an ability. You can't truck without an ability. You can't scramble without an ability. You can't catch picks without an ability. You can't pass rush without an ability. You can't tackle without an ability. Let me put five. Man, you know what? Let me put 11 on, but let's just go. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get abilities. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just go. Full team full of abilities, and let's see how it works. You know, at least, and chat, let me tell you this. At least play one weekend league with all abilities. Would that not be fun? What is the downside 
for one weekend league, all abilities active. Would it not be fun? What's the downside? You know what I'm saying? One weekend league, not every weekend league, one weekend league. Why not? I don't think three is plenty. I think three on offense is plenty. Why not put five on defense, man? Don, Donnie, this is the thing. It sounds good, and I think it would be cool. I think, Donnie, and you tell me you could bring this to the EA, people. Shout out to Commissioner Donnie. Donnie Moore of the, the statistician god at EA. I'll tell you, Donnie, could they do this? All abilities active. Why would it not be fun? How about, all right, how about this at least? House rules. All abilities active. Two-minute quarters. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? That wouldn't be bad. House rules, two-minute quarters, all abilities active. Let's go rock. Yeah, but I can have four jukeboxes. I can have all... You don't need... what Pass rush comes, I can have all my offensive line... With secure pass blocker or whatever the hell pass block the offensive line can have. I can have escape artists. I can have route chems on three wide receivers. I can have jukebox on two running backs. I, I, dude, it would be, it'd be OD tough. But anyway, that's, that's just talking about the run-stopping abilities. And the patch added these run-stopping abilities, chat. Now, DDA, my guy, how you making out? But this is what I'll ask. This is what I'll ask. But it goes back to if we have three abilities. If I'm on Mutt, which most of you guys play Mutt, respect. I'm a Mutt man myself. I still have 1,500 games to play this year. I'm only around 400, or I owe all you guys $100 each. So I have a lot more to play. Big Country, what's up? Now, what I'm going to tell you guys is if I had my choice, we play Mutt, and the three defense abilities, I wouldn't pick a run-stopping ability. Now, you have players like Aaron Donald who have power specialists, pass rushing, and run-stopping. Yeah, that's good. But for me, I'm going to have a defensive ability that affects every play on defense. You know, whether it be secure tackler, enforcer, or some type of power specialist, or secure tackler, or, you know, tackle supreme. Something that affects every single, every single play on defense, not just the run plays. But, that, like I said... Is there anything else you guys noticed from the patch? Um, like I said, RB was the biggest thing. Haven't really noticed what else. And, and we've gone into a part of the year where things change, you know, randomly. You know, we'll, we'll be one one part of the day or one part of the stream or a patch. We'll say one thing. Then, then all of a sudden it's a different, you know, something else is wrong with the game. Like we talked about last week or two weeks ago with the with the route all of a sudden deep route running is gone. You know, but I I feel like the computer don't I feel like what's crazy to me, I feel like nobody hits sticks at all anymore unless you have enforcer. You know, I I that's it. Chat, and you guys can you guys can talk to me. Do you get hit sticks? I feel like I can't I feel like no, I feel like a running back can be run. A 10 cap running back could be standing there. I can take Patrick Willis with no enforcer, and it's really hard as hell to hit stick him. It's hard as shit to get hit sticks. Am I just this bad that I like I can't line people up and hit stick? Even with Tillman. Like it's hard as shit to hit stick. Like I I, I haven't got it down. Uh, and for me, uh, I just, yeah, I, 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 dude, I don't understand the new hit stick. I, I really don't get a hit stick. Um, it was part of the reason why, man, I used to love Willis Shazier. I used to love, obviously, this new Ray Lewis. But without Enforcer, I feel like they not just hitting. That's Matty, Matty, that's, I feel the same way. And this is the thing. And we talked about CFM, which is by far my favorite mode to play right now. But CFM, I drafted everybody. They got hit power. They're, they're all kind of bums. But I haven't had one hit stick. I have Miles, Jack, Roquan Smith. None of these guys have enforcer. I haven't had one hit stick. 
Now, I think it's pretty cool because I have complained in my life about computer hit sticks. I just feel like now it's hard as shit to hit stick. But now if you had a goddamn ability, you're you're a Vander Holyfield out there. Boom, 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 boom. And that's what I mean about needing abilities to do everything, you know? Pursuit is a little wild. They play pretty dumb, but I feel like a user uh, with with being able to click on and change, I think a lot. And I'll tell you this as much as the run. Yeah, John, yeah, Donnie, Fancy Draft CFM, you could check all my games out on, on uh, YouTube, man. I won the Super Bowl in the first season, Donnie. You could check those out. I had the best draft in the history of CFM. My team is dominant. But anyway... Yeah, I just, I feel like hit stickers. I, yeah, I feel like, no, I, what we're talking about as far as pursuit. I feel like every long run, I can watch every long run, every long run that I give up, I can go back and watch and say, damn, my user could have been better. You know, and I feel like with a good user, you can contain the run a lot better than with a bad user. I, I feel like between, between clicking on, uh, changing the people's angles, uh, not over committing, not picking the wrong hole to hit. Uh, I think I think most of the time, big runs you can go back and look at the user and really say, "Damn, that's that was the problem right there. That's what happened." You know what I'm saying? Um, what does I say? Yeah, so I think pursuit is bad, but I feel like the best Madden players are gonna have good enough stick to go ahead and uh. Uh, good enough stick to go ahead and kind of calm that down a little bit. Camera toggle, yeah, a camera toggle. I I hate camera toggle. I I I, I would someone in the world and Donnie's the chat. Why is camera toggle in the game? What psycho is sitting at home changing her camera angles? Man has been played on the same camera angle for thirty years. Why do we need to change the camera angle? For real. Am I wrong? And this is the thing. I turn this shit off once a day. And it keeps popping back on. These bastards want me to use camera toggle. They want me to use it. For real. They want me to use They want me to toggle my camera. They want me to all of a sudden be at the blimp view. Third and eight. I'm doing adjustments. Oh, I slipped a little bit. Blimp view, W. Player lock on. For real. Am I lying? Chad, is there anyone out here that uses camera toggle? Some nerds like to use it when they punt. They're psychos. Nerd is the word. If you can't punt without camera, first of all, if you're punting, you're already an asshole. But if you can't punt without camera toggle, what? Y'all are nuts. Nuts! Clef can't log in the mud. See? They trying to patch Clef. We two days away from the biggest games of his life, and they get they trying to patch Clef. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'll tell you what. Yo, camera toggle is nuts. I really... I, I want one person to give me the argument for camera toggle. I want, I want to argue with one person. Clef, that's why you need the K. No, for real, I just hate camera toggle. Because it just pops on randomly. You don't know when you're going in the game. You, you can play 10 games and not know the shit's on. Because you don't you don't hit up and down on the D-pad unless you mess up. Then all of a sudden you mess up. Boo! No, dickhead, you're playing the game at this view. You know what I'm saying? Rough, definitely rough. We want to talk about man, but like as the patch RB holding RB was pretty much the biggest thing. New run abilities. We talked about Mossed. Absolutely nuts, man. And, and we're gonna talk about clubs now, man. We're going into clubs. Now I've been playing a lot of man. I've I've, I've had this white t-shirt on probably for almost 24 hours now since last night before I went to bed. So been playing the shit out of man. New Pat Pete came out, kind of messed up my whole team that I had. Even though I love the card. 
does he play on a salary cap team? Am I an asshole out here putting 200 cap on the secondary when people don't pass? You know, and I, I, I'll tell you, getting the team together, and you guys that are in, and, and like I said again, Chad, let me know. Yeah, it's inside out, because I've been going through it. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I'm telling you, I've been locked in the cave, Chad. Locked in the cave. I haven't, all I did was stream to rip some packs today for Pat Pete. Bro, I'm telling you, this is the jungle. When I tell you all about the jungle, this is the jungle. And that's why I tell you, when the bright lights come on, when the bright lights come on, people play different. People play different. Nuts get shown when the lights come on. Little nuts, big nuts, and it's whichever ones you bring to the party, that's going to determine the outcome. And I'll tell you guys this, man. You guys know I don't bring little nuts to the party. You guys already know that. I already have Fat Pete. But anyway, one of the biggest things about... One of the big... McGurk, what's up? One of the biggest things that um the biggest struggles you have and a lot of people in the chat i see carry q in the chat my guy are in the chat um have played in these salary. and the hardest thing is getting your team together man because you always feel like is this it like is this really what i want is this what's going to make me tough like is this you know what i mean you always like try to find I don't want to explain it, but you always never really satisfy. You always think you can tweak the team a little bit. Even if you have a perfect team, you always feel like you can tweak it a little bit more, make it a little bit better, so on and so forth. And um, what was I going to say? So that's one of the biggest struggles you have um, in these salary cap tournaments is getting your team together, really. So for me... Um, and the one a bit of advice that I give you guys, man, is that don't overthink it, man. Play to your strengths. What makes you good? Uh, what makes you what makes you play well? What uh, what's most important to you? And one thing I struggle with, I do take a lot of advice from a lot of different people, you know, and they kind of turn me on to some things. And I trust a lot of people, you know. But at the end of the day, chat, uh, and at the end of the day, I will tell you guys. Shout out to my man Cooley with the gifted sub, the carry Q. Um, one of the things I'll tell you guys, man, trust yourself. You guys all play, man. Y'all all here for a reason. Like, you qualify for these club tournaments for a reason. You know, because you're good enough, you've played well enough, you played enough. So you know what you like. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for the most part, um, just trust yourself. Trust your scheme. Know what's important to you. For me, I'll tell you, Michael Vick is it. There's no thinking about it. There's no getting other quarterbacks. There's no hot route master. I'm not being cute. There's nothing to be cute. We're going to put the ball out there, and we're going to make some plays. The most overpowering ability in this game is escape artist. 1,000%. And if you don't have that on your team, you, I feel like you're already at a disadvantage. But, you know, some people know better than me. Some people know less. But you have to go what's important to you. You know, and you have to know what's important and what's going to make you play well. You know, what works for somebody else might not work for you. You know, I watch people run the ball. It might not. I go to run the ball. I, I get one yard and all of a sudden I'm in third and eight. You know, so it's not for everybody. Just know what's know what's right for you. Know what works for yourself and there's not a man alive that likes playing versus escape artists um but anyway that that's the biggest advice know yourself and i tell people all the time um the best scouting is self-scouting know what makes you good know what makes you score points know what makes you play defense what in position is important to you i go to some people that don't have middle linebackers me myself i like a middle linebacker i have some people that don't have safeties I like Brian Dawkins. I like Pat Tillman. Some people have offensive linemen. Me, myself, if I could put five subs from the chat on my offensive line, you motherfuckers would be playing. You know? You know, so for me, that's just how I, that's just how I feel. And that might not be good for you. you know what I'm saying? Because you might want to run the ball. You might want to have more time in the pocket. You might have a high route master. You might need more time. God bless. Everybody is different. You know what I'm saying? 
Everybody is different. Everybody can fight. Everybody can, you know, play to their style. That's what makes Madden great, man. Everybody has kind of a different style. Even people might run the same offense. And, I, and the biggest example I can give you is Kiv and Skimbo. They've both been running bunch for three years now. Two, play completely different. Similar, I don't even want to say similar style. Similar offense, but completely different. You know, and it's the little shit that makes people completely different. And it's the fact that you guys can see the little shit. You guys see the differences. You guys see the chess match, even, even in this year. Even this year when most of the competitive games you guys have seen have been running, 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 little dot, running back wheel, running, running. It's still little nuances that make Serious Mo win a belt, that make Joke win four Friday Night Footballs, that make Clef win X amount of, and make Joe Rice win. It's the little shit that makes them win. So even though everybody's running, you know, pretty similar stuff, it's the little nuances that can be so much different. They can have their own twist. They can have their own play call in the style. It's the little things that, you know, make, you know, styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? This year, and Cute Boogie in the chat says, this year has been the best at different things. And I will agree. This is probably, since Madden 17, this is the most diverse offenses have been, um, even within playbooks. You know, like, in the past, if you heard New England, oh, this person's running shifts tight end. Or they're running bunch. Oh, you hear Tampa Bay? Oh, they're running bunch. You know, West Coast or they're running bunch. You already know. Now you can hear Oakland, and they could be running 500 different other things. You know, or you can hear New Orleans. They could be running 500 different other things. You know, it's so many different um, schemes out there that definitely work. Um, and I, I, I definitely see that. And most of the reason why a lot of schemes work is the run is pretty decent. You know, and that's something that makes... If the run is pretty decent, it can make any little formation a little bit tougher, chat. Um, but it is a good year for a little bit of diversity, honestly. But um, tell you guys that... Uh, the, and last thing I want to talk about. that has been live here for over 40 minutes. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys coming out. And Duke Boy alludes to this. We're going to talk about streaming. Right, we're gonna talk about streaming clubs. Like I said, over 500 people in this tournament. Now, chat, give me a number on how many Madden streamers you think there are, as far as like pro players slash Madden streamers. Give me a number on how many you think you would consider like a professional streamer. Let me know. Let me know what the number because I have a number in my head. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what you guys think. How many pro Madden players stream? Let me see. Let me see what you guys think, because I have a number that I think, you know, that, that you would consider streamers, not man players that stream everyone, that you would consider streamers, you know, and I think I went over this list a couple weeks ago, um, 33 is, I think, is, I think the double digits are really high, um, how about this? How about we can go, we can go, how about streamers that have made any type of live event? Put it that way. Give me a streamer and a live event person that has made a live event. We're talking about obviously me and Problem. We're talking about K-Mac. We're talking about Henry. Uh, you can count, I, obviously, second in the major is, is uh, what you call it, Clef. Where are the miles or Joel? Bugs. Legend, you up there? Jenny don't stream. If y'all call Jenny a streamer, I'm fighting all y'all. If, if y'all call Jenny a streamer, I'm fighting. Shakobi might be up there. Strafing don't stream. Chaos, 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 chaos pretty up there. Pony, pony. I don't see pony as making a lot of that. Yeah, legend. I mean, you made two uh whatchamacallit. Redskins lives, legend, and you've been grinding. You've been grinding streams, legend. You know what I'm saying? Comfy door, get the hell out of it. So for me, it's like, um, okay. So let's call it this. We around ten, right? Let's say ten, maybe between eight to eight to twelve, right? Y'all agree with me on that, right? Now I will tell you this. Madden, um. I, this is how I feel about streaming. You guys can listen to me. Um, Madden 
it's it doesn't suck to be a man streamer. What it does is man's a small community. It's a small game on Twitch. That's okay. Now, as it being a small game on Twitch, that's a small community. So it's easier to make a name in a small community than said huge community. So you guys can use this opportunity. If you want to be a streamer, this is the best way to go gain a thousand followers. You know, and it could help propel your, you know, your street if you want to become a streamer. Um, as far as us, um, the established streamers, I know myself, all my big tournament games will be sub only because one, uh, the amount of work that these 10 plus players we talked about have put into the streams, they deserve it, you know? Now, I feel if someone hasn't put in the work, I'm saying if someone hasn't grinded and all of a sudden they want to put a sub only, I think that's the wrong way to go because I think the, the biggest thing about a stream is just consistency and grinding and, and you know, putting the work in because it's work. Honestly, it really is. It's work. You know, and, and, and as much as video games is fun, streaming is a job. It's work and you have to continually put the grind and to grow. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight to pretty much anybody. So, for me, Lowry, that's a good question. We can talk about that as well. So, for me, you can use this little spot. Because let's be real. Chat, let's be real. If Little Timmy versus Little Ray is happening in the Broncos Club Series, we're going to watch. You know what I'm saying? I will tell you that right now. And, and you guys can agree or disagree. See, Skimbo would be sub only, but he don't even have a bad, he don't even have any of that equipped. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will tell you this. Like I said, no matter who, no matter who, who um is going to play a tournament game, we will watch. Right? We will watch. So, what if you... Even if you use me, you guys can reach out to me to help promote your stream of your tournament game. I will tell you that right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because one thing EA doesn't do is promote these type of things. You know, it could be really cool for them to sit, whether it be Matt Marku himself, or whether it be Farles and Gibbs, or whether it be RG, just chilling and have some type of red zone with an OBS and, and just chill on the computer and really broadcast these games and talk about it, look at brackets, kind of like what we do. And I think it's something that would be pretty easy. It would be pretty easy to um, do, honestly. Uh, but, I mean, the effort, the effort could be there. And this is what I will tell you. You are putting yourself at a super disadvantage. A super... So the disadvantage level is through the roof. Now, I'll tell you guys this. Now, I remember Man Classic, Man 18, right? Right? Now, um, there, there, okay, we'll, we'll talk, about, I will tell you about the disadvantage. I'll tell you, let me tell you a story. You guys are putting up, bringing up good points in the chat. YouTube, give me comments on what you think about streaming these games. But for me, I remember Man 18, Man in Classic, right? I had, this is what I had to do. One, I had to be franchise. Boom, beat him, went into group play. Played Rumble, lost to Rumble, had to beat some dude in SC. I beat him. A uh, couple other people I had to beat. I think I beat Bugs. I don't remember. But I had a single elimination I had to beat. Prodigy, and then I had to beat Short Texas Goon. Now, Short Texas Goon was tough, and he had just played AKG for something. Now, here goes me. I hit up AKG, man. What's up? What happened? Can I see your past broadcast? He said, I didn't stream it. Short Texas Goon. Said, now, this is what I'll tell you guys. Have you ever, now, I, I'm some of you guys probably know who Short Texas Goon is. He's been around a long time. He's been a decent man player a long time. Not a streamer, right? He's not a streamer, but best believe I found his stream. I watched the past broadcast. I knew what stretch he was going to run. I knew what run plays he wanted to run. I knew what when he had to pass, what his pass play was. I knew all of that stuff. And what would I do? This is what happened. Um, 
I hit up Bugs. I said, Bugs, let's go in the lab. Let's go see these runs. Make sure I have the right run defense for this. Had all the run defense for this. He came out, ran the ball, ran the ball, put third and 10, just like that, third and 12. And I'll tell you, he had the hell defense. And I had to do some crazy-ass money drive in overtime or something. To, and he was really good. It was Seahawks versus Seahawks, and, and he it was a battle. That's all I really remember it was a battle. One of the best games I played, but I just remember such an advantage I had from watching his stream. And, and there's people out there that will have such a huge advantage from watching your stream. Now, me, myself, I'm so far past that, man. Anybody with the brain that I play know exactly what I'm going to do every time before I even do it. My biggest thing, and my nuts are so big, that I want to be good enough at the game for you to know my plays, know what I like to call, and still be able to execute. That's where the pinnacle of madness for me. It's stupid as hell. It's beyond stupid because it makes it that much more difficult on me. But for me, that's what I love. That's what I enjoy, you know. So, and some people don't look like that way. Uh, and uh, and that's the downside of being a streamer. The upside is having this community and having you guys support me. Uh, it doesn't happen right away. It might not be happening for all you guys trying to stream. It might be. It might feel like a slow grind. And, and, and one thing you got to remember about streaming is, man, if it might feel like a slow grind for you, you might look at your viewers and, and look, damn, it's, it's not really popping. Every streamer has that same thing. And I will tell you this time of year for me, it's like I'm over Madden because Madden starts with such a boom. I'm sitting in here with 2000 viewers playing mutt, having fun. Then a month later, it's just like falls off the map. And it just kills, and we all feel that, and you feel like this depression, and it's like, why do I do this type of stuff? And I feel like a lot of you small streamers are feeling the same way, and I just want you guys to know that we all feel that way. The same way, no matter what level of streamer you are, shout out my man Crush with this up. No matter what level you are, it's all, we all feel the same type of lows and things like that, you know, so, so don't be discouraged by that, but just keep grinding, and if you want to use... If you want to use your club games to, to really propel your streaming streaming thing or, you know, streaming, you know, your platforms and everything, um, it's a great opportunity. And like I said, you guys can reach out to me. Give me the links. Let me know when you're playing. I will try my best to retweet them, promote them, anything. Uh, because I know like you, and it's 400 people in here. I know all of us love um, Madden. And I know we would all watch every game. Um we would all watch every game and, you know, it doesn't matter if little Timmy's playing little Ray or Billy Bob is playing Jonathan. We're going to watch, you know, um, and, and so I want everybody to have all the opportunities to watch those games as much as possible. Um, so reach out to me. But I, honestly, uh, if you don't want to be a streamer, don't promote the shit. Stream for your buddies. Go ahead. Put in the title. I'm playing, you know, playing Mutt Seasons. Just stream for your buddies. Don't show anybody because it's a huge disadvantage. It really is. If you want to win, don't stream. If you want to build a streaming platform, go ahead and stream. I'll help you promote. I'll help all you guys as much as possible. Um, and we talked about this. There should be incentive to stream. Why? To me, there's an incentive to stream. There's a huge incentive to stream. The multi or the multimedia platforms of gaming is huge. The amount of revenue, the amount of eyes that you can get from gaming is huge. Madden is smaller, but it's still beyond big enough to make a career off of. And that's the incentive. What other incentive would somebody want? Now, you might not want to do this field. You might not want to be a content creator. You might not want to, um, you know, pursue this. But for me, it's... It's worth it at the end of the day. It sucks at first. It's still not the best. You know, and like I said, I'm one of the top man streamers and it's still not the best, but the opportunity is there. You know, the, the future for man and anybody streaming is there. So, um, that is the incentive. What would anybody else need an incentive for? I, I don't know what else you would want. You know, I, it used to be, we'll give you a bundle if you stream. And I remember that they gave away bundles if you streamed or something like that, man. Yes, the grind streaming, I will tell you, and Top Pick says I feel this way because the grind of stream becomes work. Yes, my biggest passion playing Madden has become work. And obviously it's a gift and a curse because 
it's a gift and a curse. So for me, um, I play a video game for a job. It's pretty fucking awesome. But at the same time, now my my passion becomes work. So that's the downside. Instead of having fun, now I got to look at how many viewers I got, how many subs I got. Um, I have to play Madden today. I can't just chill and play Apex. I can't just play 2K. I have to go play Madden. You know, if I'm not playing a game, I'm losing money. That's something how I feel about, like, if I want to sit here, why, I want to watch LeBron tonight. Chat, will you guys watch LeBron tonight? So from 1030 to 1230, I'm going to be watching LeBron James, right? Because must-see TV for me as a sports fan, LeBron has to be must-see TV. LeBron and AD versus Kawhi, I feel like that's must-see TV. So I'm going to sit there and watch that. Now, I feel like, especially in the beginning of the year, damn, I'm not playing a game. I'm kind of missing out on money. You know, and that feeling is kind of shitty, honestly. 5,000 subs is a great incentive. Really, I obviously do, boy. Shout out to Bama for life with the sub, man. I've had some good times in Alabama. Alabama is where the Mutthead Studios are. I used to have a girlfriend in Alabama. Um, the last couple times I went, she curved me, though. I don't know what happened. Um crazy thing let me tell you because you know guys know i tell stories now this girl i met in las vegas las vegas this is why i love exactly Eric. so you understand coolie with the gift this is what i love beetle actually yeah obviously when i play another game my viewership is lower lt listen i'm ready for any man player in the world i don't give a fuck if i'm playing john man himself i'm ready for anybody and things are different when you're in the jungle but listen, at this point, as far as me, I would love to play her. If I can, I'll, I'll be happy as hell if I got to the point where I play Henry, which wouldn't be till the final four of the Eagles some point, you know, so I would be happy. I just need to, I, I just want to beat Jimmy John that I'm playing in the first round. That's the goal, man. If you start looking ahead, that's when you get caught up, honestly. And one of my biggest goals, Mandro, my guy. Oh, about the girl. One of my biggest goals is to not to lose to anybody that I'm better than. That should be one of your goals. Never play down to your competition. Never lose to somebody you should beat. Like, I don't want to lose to somebody that I would beat nine times out of ten. Man, Joel's cool, man. I mean, he, he capping. That's all. But anyway, see, this is how I feel about... And, and let, let's, this is how I feel about Mandrell. Mandrell, you two became in here and said some wild shit. He said, I'm an ugly-ass cracker partially true you know and for me you could ban mandrell you could ban him but to me mandrell will never come back in this chat he will never come back to the needed podcast me myself i want to get to know mandrell mandrell talk to me where are you from how old are you because i feel like i'm saying if he clicked this link and he's in the chat he might like to talk about man now me i like to talk about man so maybe we can get along you know i'm not just going to dismiss somebody that could become a supporter that fast I want to have some banter. You know? You're not just going to come in here and call me an ugly-ass cracker and not and not let me cat back. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I need to know where he's from. I need to know what he looks like. Because that's the thing. All you guys are looking at me, I'm fairly ugly. But you can't cap at me if I don't know what you look like. Now, Truzy, he can cap at me. He will lose because I know what he looks like. And I will cap at him way worse. You know what I'm saying? That, then that's how it works. If I know what you look like, we can cap. But you can't cap with high and behind the name on Twitch. Anyway, because my man, like I said, because my man Mandrell is gone now. He said one thing and just left, but he's not saying anything. But anyway, let's get back to the story about Alabama, because my man Bama for life subbed. Shout out to Alabama. Great state. Every Uber driver I've had in Alabama has been very pleasant. Also, and it's Huntsville, Alabama, where Mudhead Studios are. Had a girlfriend there. Met her in Vegas. Now, what's crazy about Vegas, what I love about it, is you have people from all over the, all over America. Here go America. Bam! Right? People from New York, from uh, Sacramento, from Seattle, from Minnesota, from Texas, from Florida, from Atlanta, from Cali. They're all in Vegas. So you meet people from all over the country. So the more you go to Vegas, now some of you guys might not talk to women, but I try to peruse as many people as I can, not only women, I like to introduce myself to other guys I could talk to, meet, maybe market, even maybe network about gaming and things like that. No homo, because I know the chat is wild, but I like to meet and greet people all over the world. Is Mandrell back? 
Say he was just playing. See, now he went, he could have got banned. Now he said he's just playing. So now his mood got a little lighter. Now he's becoming a supporter. Now he's in the chat. See, you assholes would have banned him and lost that viewer. Me, me and Mandrill, we tight now. But anyway, like I said, so when I go, so when I go to um anywhere, I like to meet people. You know what I'm saying? I like to peruse women. I like to uh, introduce myself to people. You know what I'm saying? So when you go to Vegas, you tend to meet people from all over the country. Uh, this girl was actually from Texas. And I uh, found out she had moved to Huntsville. And I had met up with her a couple times in Alabama. Uh, long story short, we had some good times. But she's curbed me the last couple times. Plus, I've been um, chilling as far as perusing other women lately. I've been trying to settle down, man. It's getting rough. But anyway, uh, I was going to say, chat. I do have, so Alabama has always showed me a good time. Ah, this said woman from Alabama. As my phone is ringing, that was bad. I can't tell you that story, chat. That's for another time. It's a little too, it's a little too graphic, and it's a little. Uh, th- this podcast I, is are we up over? Yeah, we're up over an hour. I can't really talk to you guys about uh this one story. What happened with me and this girl in the Las Vegas airport? The Las Vegas airport. Yeah. Man, Joel, that's what I'm saying. How can you cap at somebody for being ugly? Listen, that's the way you came out of the womb. Like, that's the way God made you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like joke joke is five foot three, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's funny because he's short. But at the end of the day, he couldn't do shit about it, right? Ain't like he tried to, it ain't like he didn't try to grow, right? If you're short, you try to grow, you go there. Like, you try to stretch out and shit, but you just don't grow. Is you really, it's funny, but it, what can he do, right? Like, what the hell? Can't do shit. Now, you can be an asshole, and that's by choice, right? You can have no swag, that's by choice, right? You can have some dirty-ass sneakers, that's by choice, right? You can have a dumb-ass haircut like J-Wall and Truzy and all these 13-year-old kids that play Madden. That's by choice. So you'll get capped at, right? telling you guys man but anyway funeral service my guy three month streak I appreciate you coming by man that's all that's all I feel man but but ultimately man clubs is going to be a fun time uh, I got to prepare myself uh, for clubs uh, it is going to be fun Um, what was I going to say about it um I would do like some type of red zone thing. I would. Um, but like I said, I'll probably be playing. How about over the weekend, win or lose, I don't care what happens to me, oh, we can do some red zone shit. How about well, how y'all feel about that, chat? 146 dead, Jack. That's dead. I'll tell you that right now. You'll be proud of me. I'm more worried about Bazooka Larry Mutt defense. No, nah, how about that, chat? Would y'all, would y'all, this is why I'm going to ask y'all, chat, would y'all come in here and, and talk about the games with me that we watch over the weekend? Because the Eagles is going to be Thursday to Saturday, I think, and then from then on, it's going to be some other clubs. Would y'all rock with that? Now, I'll tell you, the biggest thing about, like, like, it was easier. I'll tell you this. It is tougher to win when, when you know, it's, it's all this chat rooting for you and stuff. I feel like when I played before, like I streamed before I won the belt, but it wasn't as big as this. And you don't have the same following. But now all y'all rocking with me, it's like I, you got to carry the weight of the stream on you. You know what I'm saying? Mandrell, I don't know. See, Mandrell back in the chat. Mandrell, hit the sub. Let us know you real. You know what I'm saying? But now I feel like, am I ready? Listen, Jack, we might be ready. Jack, one of the things Timmy told, am I ready for play the run? I feel, this is how I feel about the run. If I score seven points every time, I won't lose to a runner. The only way you lose to a runner is you don't score points. I'm a Cooley. Hey, Cooley gifted man, drill. Yeah, for sure. So I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Oh, yeah, I know y'all here. Listen, I know y'all. Are, listen, one of my biggest things that I learned is that winning and losing, 
y'all still going to fuck with the people y'all want to chill with. That's all. You know what I'm saying? That's, the, that's one of the biggest things I realized. Because last year after Jacksonville and I didn't want to play the MCS, I didn't want to play with EA anymore. I still really don't fuck with EA. Honestly, I really don't, chat. But I want to play Madden. I want to compete. It's a little bit of money out there. I want to touch some of the money, right? Personally. But for this, um, and I, I was worried last year when I wasn't playing the tournament that y'all gonna, you know, they're not gonna want to fuck with me anymore. It's gonna slow down. But y'all kept it up, so that that really, uh, uh, listen, I can't even, I can't even, uh, I can't even imagine the troll. I can't even look at the chat if I'm in the hell game. Exactly, Jigga Man. That's you put that perfectly. Jigga Man in the chat says runners will run themselves out the game if you can score consistently consecutively. One thousand percent right, man. My old line, my old line, I'm telling you, it's five people. Jack, and I know that. And this is why I like because y'all support me, but y'all also kill me. And YouTube, y'all do this too. You suck, they be like, you suck, you miss B on this play. And that's the type of friends you need. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have the ones that just tickle your nuts. I don't want... Chat, listen, you good, man. Dro, you already got to get this up. You good. I appreciate it. Cool, you already know. But this is what I'm saying. A lot of you guys, you need the friends that's going to support you and bust your balls when you're playing shitty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Ryan, that's what it's about, man. I want I want all y'all to get better, man. There you go, top pick. I like it. I mean, D lines. I'm already right at content creator. A freeze with the sub. There it is, man. A freeze said he's homies with Kent. He told me about you a couple years back when I stayed with him while visiting Ohio. Hey, A freeze. I appreciate it. Kent's my guy, man. He fell off. Like Kent helped me win the belt, and Kent used to be decent and man. Honestly, ten years ago, Kent was really tough and man, and then he just like he got old, got married and shit, and now he plays Fortnite all day. Like I don't understand. There's so much money to be made in Madden. Ah, right, there you go, Cooley. Congrats, man. Marathon for real. Your yeah, draft is fun. I ain't ready for it, though. I think I think Sire Cap's always going to be the top one. Ben Jarvis with the sub. Thank you. Hey, Legend, for sure. There's people that try to pipe you up, but... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Um, problem just doing uh, the thing, and people ask me about problem streaming FIFA as my man stole truck. And I've had that pro it's like ultimately you see what Madden is. Madden is great for us. Madden has given me, it's given problem, it's given all these people opportunities, it's given them a spotlight. What you do with that spotlight is up to you. What you do with that game or with that, you know, with the eyes that you've gotten from Madden is up to you. You know, and one of the problem's biggest goals, as all, one of my goals one day, is to be a variety streamer, and that I can play any game I want, and you guys rock with me. And some of y'all do. Like it's to the point, if I pop on Apex, it's gonna be a hundred people in here. If I pop on Two K, it's gonna be two hundred people in here. So for me, if I can, you know, use Madden to get you to the point where I can play any game and y'all rock with me, that's an important thing because Madden, at the end of the day, has its highs and then it has its lows. You know, from the end of the Super Bowl to the new Madden, you know, so you want to be able to play any game. And at the end of the day, chat, I'll tell you guys, it is still a video game. I like to do what has fun. Apex to me is the most fun game that I have. I love, I could play this shit for 10 hours straight. You know, I, I really enjoy it, you know, more than Madden right now, honestly. And uh, I wish I could play it on stream. I guess so, Jack. I'm not, I feel like it's not the same. It's a little bit tougher to read the chat. Madden, I think Madden, as far as streaming, is conducive to streaming because between every play, you can read the chat and stuff like that. And also, the one thing about Madden, uh, the one thing about Madden for me is that there's something to talk about pretty much every play. You know, you can have a 10 yard out route, somebody in the chat be like, damn, that's a good dot. Uh, you can have, a, you know, you can blow up the run, be like, damn, he blew up the run, or this bum trying to run. Whereas if you're playing 2K or you're playing a shooting game, it's not something to talk about every 10 seconds, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's I think Madden is really conducive to streamers. I think it's a really easy game to stream. Um, obviously, streaming is a, it is a talent. People get better at it. Um, but... Get some Bud Lights. Hey, man, y'all bring them joints through. See, look. Man, Drew went from calling me an ugly-ass cracker. 
Now he wants to buy Bud Lights in less than an hour. He went from being somebody that y'all wanted to ban in the chat. Now he's buying me Bud Light. I'm telling you, it's a reason the business is growing. It's a reason the brand is growing. It's right here, chat. This was the Needed Podcast, episode 52. Been a whole year in the books. Thank y'all.